In this video, we will learn about drought filtering in OSPF via extended ACL. In this topology, IP addresses are pre-configured and OSPF 100 is running on router 1, router 2 and router 3. Firstly, we will see whether router 2 and router 3 have all the routes in its routing table or not. So, show IP route. Now, router 2 have all the routes in its routing table. Now moving to router 3, router 3 also have all the routes in its routing table. Now we will perform route filtering in router 3 such that it filters the first loopback network of router 1 that is 1.1.1.0 from its routing table but it will appear on router 2's routing table. Now to perform route filtering in router 3, we will move to configuration mode. Then create a, a, an extended ACL by using access list, then access list number that is 110, then its operation deny, then IP host 23.0.0.2, then the loopback network which we want to deny that is 1.1.1.0, then its wildcard mask that is 0.0.0.255, and enter, then access list. 110 in permit IP any any that means all the networks except 1.1.1.0 are permitted in this access list. Now moving to router OSPF 100 and we will implement this access list in OSPF by using distribute list. Then access list number that is 110 then in which direction we want to implement it and in OSPF the X distribute list is only implemented in in direction so we will use here in then exit now route filtering is performed in router 3 and we will verify it by seeing its, its routing table by using show IP route and we will see here that loopback network of router 1 that is 1.1.1.0 is filtered from router 3's routing table and it will appear on router 2's routing table and we will see here by using show IP route now here we will see that router 2 have all the routes in its routing table so this is how route filtering is performed in OSPF by using extended ACL thank you